So hello everyone, I will proceed to tell you how to log your adaptation log. So first off, we'll take a look at the log help command. So as you can see, there are three different ways you can log. You can use freelog, log and log eeg. Freelog is a log where you type whatever you want and it will post it in adaptation logs. You can also add your eeg spectrogram if you want. Plus log is where the bot will ask you a bunch of questions and it will format your log according to this format that we can see here. So there's also log eeg which simply posts an eeg. This command was added recently. So we'll now set up a schedule. Here is an example of an app chart. You can set that it works correctly with the log bot. So on the first lane in red, you need to have your sleep times, so your cores and your naps. It needs to be on the first lane and it needs to be red. And then anything else that you add, so let's say I have some work here and some work here, which is a great example, it would not recognize this at sleep times. If I add another lane and I put something in red, this won't be recognized at sleep because it must be on the first lane and in red. For the log to work, we need obviously to have a schedule. So here I'll just set up DC2. So there we go. So now I have a DC2 setup. Now we are going to log. So I'll just type in plus log like this. And the bot sent me some messages. So it asks me whether this is correct and I can see my schedule when I set it, etc. So this is correct indeed. Um, which day we want to log about? So since it's the start of a schedule, I'll say zero. And because it's my first time in this example logging on this new schedule, it asks me whether I want to answer a few questions. I'll just do it very fast. So how many hours of sleep do I need? I'll say I don't know, etc. So there are a bunch of questions. You can simply answer what he asks. So am I sleep deprived? No. Yeah, sure, whatever. Okay, so now I answered the questions the bus, the bot asked about the new schedule and um, which course do you want which course on app do you want to look about so since it's a dc2 i have two cores two maps i can log what i want so i can only log one core if i want two cores etc so if i want to log c12 and n1 and n2 you can put that or this should also work so let's say i want to log about everything because it's simpler just say x did you adhere to a schedule sleep times? So let's say I didn't. So my cores and my naps are like this. So let's say I overslept a bit for the first core, for a um, second core. Let's say it was okay. Then nap, uh, slept too late, whatever. And then this was okay so I need to separate the um, different ranges with a white space and I need to separate the range with a dash and I can put H uh, double dot or nothing if I want so then it asks me a bunch of statements and I must say which ones are good according to my current log so here, uh, let's say it was hard to fall asleep, I had a generally bad mood, um, remember the dream, why not, and um, feelings of soreness. We can just put X if uh, none of the above applies, it will be some kind of a generic, generic. So yeah, um, how hard was it to stay awake? Uh, the approximation is one because I didn't have any hard time according to the statements. If I said I had very rough tiredness bombs, it would 
probably suggest something else than one which is very easy. Uh, what happened during my first call? Because I overslept, so I say overslept. Oopsie daisy. Um, what happened during second call? Well, nothing special, nothing special. And my third, my second nap, I napped, I guess. Then I can add something else, which will be under the recap section. So, something else. And now I can post my EEG graph. Did my EEG graph, and now the bot sends me a preview of what it's going to send. So I can say either yes or no to a bot, so Y or N. Or I can also say a bot. So there we can see I overslept one hour, ten minutes. Uh, it's simply the total time that I slept that wasn't scheduled. Uh, my sleep time uh, overall I slept yeah, 6 hours apparently around. Um, and then it will format according to what I told him. So there's a recap etc. I can say yes or no. If I, can, if I say yes it's going to uh, send it in the polyphasic sleeping server in adaptation logs. Um, I don't want to send it because it's fake, but this would appear exactly like many others, like this one for instance, except this would be fixed. Uh, there'd be a color like here. Um, so I'll say no, it won't send it. So there's also free log, which is pretty similar, except there's no thing special. You can say what I want, so call one slept and stuff, whatever, I uh, can post EEG. So the bot will ask you the EEG question if you have the sleep tracker role. So if you check yourself, I do have the sleep tracker role. Um, so here is the same, it asks me to confirm I don't want to send this fake, fake log. And then there's log EEG, which is simply sending an EEG screenshot without anything else, so you don't have to use freelog anymore to do that. Um, just write X to ignore that. Okay, so if you don't send an EEG, it will ask you to do it again, of course. And that was it for the video.